Mary Fossum Invitational, our uh, second tournament of the year, a great golf course, Forest Acres, up in uh, East Lansing. Uh, you know, we've had quite a bit of experience playing up there periodically through the years. Uh, a great test of golf. Um, you know, the golf course can play long. Uh, it has a variety of different shots where you're playing through wooded areas as well as some open areas. Um, probably one of the critical things which for us actually works really well that we're really focusing on is is just our strategy in terms of positioning the golf ball off the tee to get the irons in the right spot on the greens and that's, uh, that's, that's something that's going to come into play very very prominently there at MSU. Uh, there, there's a variety of greens and holes that have really really deceptive greens, uh, a lot of slopes so making sure that you're putting the golf ball in the right spot is going to be very critical uh, to success. Um, so that's, that's a bit about the golf course. Um, this tournament traditionally is very, very strong. This year is no exception. We have a wide range of teams. Uh, obviously the host Michigan State, a perennial top 25 team, uh, very, very strong. Uh, Ohio State, Northwestern are there this year. Oregon, uh, we also have East Tennessee State, Notre Dame is there, Oakland. Um, Eastern and Western Michigan, Fair State. So we've got a big, um, diverse field. And you're going to see some really, really good play. I, I expect Northwestern, preseason rank, I think 16th. Um, Ohio State, Michigan State, all to be battling out. I think if we play well, we're going to be in the mix. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to a great tournament. Uh, our lineup is, is going to be virtually the same uh, as we had last week. Uh, in, in the one spot, we've got Elizabeth Tong. Elizabeth played, you know, a pretty solid uh, tournament, not necessarily up to her standards, but she, she played um, well and, and gave the team exactly what was uh, necessary. And, you know, I think uh, as she plays a little bit more, having come, on, come off a uh, summer of i uh, I think you'll see her get better event to event to event. So. Elizabeth in the in the one spot. Marissa Decola, you know, played again very you know very steady. wasn't didn't really post any numbers that she is capable of posting, but you know had had a, a, a pretty solid tournament. I think with a couple of breaks, it could have been really really good. And so you know she's in the two spot. Ana San Juan, um, what a great start to her college career. I mean she led the she led the the team. She was finished seventh in a tournament. Um, posted uh, under par round or first round of college golf, so you know she shot 71, 75, and I think um, this is. I think you're going to see her just be very, very um, strong through through the fall. She demonstrated that she could play a very difficult golf course uh, very efficiently at Purgatory, and I think the same thing uh, that you'll see this week and, and hopefully weeks to come. So uh, you know, armed with her new driver, she's got uh, she's she's doing a lot of good things and, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, Maria Mancini again got off to a great start 73-76 um, you know on her debut at Purgatory uh, Maria played really really well she didn't hit the ball as well so she shot a lot of uh, you know uh, of great ability to scramble get herself out of the situation especially her last five or six holes last round she really worked hard to um, Put together a, a good solid round, which to me, you know, her 76 getting it up and down on the last hole from uh, two bunkers uh, really showed a lot of heart and grit. And you know, I, I'm expecting her to have a really good event. <clears throat> Excuse me. In in the fifth spot, Sophie Hayashi. Sophie had a great tournament. Um, she shot 78, 77, uh, which is is really strong and gave the team exactly what she needed. Um, so we're going to put her in the fifth spot. Cameron Clawbutter is going to be in the sixth spot. Cam had a, an outstanding second round. Kind of struggled in her first round, but got it under control in the second round of the day, and and demonstrated that she can play at a very high level. Cam has a ton of tools, and it's it'll be fun to watch her develop and and get some more tournament experience up there in East Lansing.